family. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I am at Walmart. I hope you can see it right there. Um, I took a picture of the gas prices. It went up from $4.15, which I think was last Thursday or Friday. Today is Tuesday, and it is $4.37. Um, I tried to get a video on the way in, but there was too much traffic. I'll try to get one on the way out, but I will put a picture up. So, um, I'm about to walk up into Walmart because I need to buy some product today. Um, I will tell you what I'm going to buy. What do you know? The watermelon went down to $3.98. So, I just wanted to point out that the watermelon used to be $7 and something. It went down to $6 and something. And now it's $3.98 because that was way too expensive and nobody was paying $7 and something for a watermelon. Okay, so I did not come in here for grocery product, but you know I've got to run in just to kind of see what's going on. And then I'm going to go toward the garden section because I want to go in the camping section. And if you remember whenever I posted uh, the other day about what I wanted to purchase, in the uh, camping section, the, the burner thing. I'll, I'll let you know. I don't even know the name of it, but I will bring you over there and see. Okay, let's see. The canned goods are okay. If I see anything alarming, I will let you know. Ten ninety eight for 18 bags of the small chips. I mean, for fourteen ninety eight, you can get 28 bags. Okay, so looks like they're a little low on their cold drinks. I'm gonna swipe you over because they still have some. But there's a large gap right here. Let's look at the prices. Five sixty-eight for the zero Pepsi. You can't get what you need. I mean, what you want is what you need. That's right. You can get a um, a twelve pack of zero Dr Pepper for five sixty-eight. I'm trying to go slow, but. Um, I'm not even supposed to be up in this area because I don't need anything. But it's probably going to be cheaper just to make some good old-fashioned Kool-Aid and some good old-fashioned tea. Back to the basics because the luxury of as much as I would love to stay in the produce, you know, the, uh, the food products because, you know, I love the food products. I'm just going to move along. I saw a few more things, but that's not what I came here for. That I'm not doing a food haul today. I've got to get some things because um, I want to be prepared in case a hurricane comes, knocks out the grid. I want to be prepared, and I just need a few items. Okay, so Leon is more familiar with this area than I am, but I'm going to see what I can do. So this is the, the fishing, uh, well, you know, the shirts, the camping section. Here we go. So let me see. Okay, this is the you go on the river section. So, hmm. I think this is the aisle that I need to come down. Maybe. Okay, now this is the aisle. I don't know what kind of music they got playing, but it's it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible music. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Right here, and hmm, I don't know if I'm going to find anything. It's kind of slim. Okay. Um, maybe it's in this section. Okay, let's see. Okay, here is a Coleman. We have two of these at home, but I'm not comfortable with them. I want something... A little smaller and I th it's right here here it is right here this is what I'm looking for three of these three of the uh, buddy heaters but this is what I'm looking for and they have two but I want the dual um, I want the one that uses let me look at it okay so this little can is what it uses, but I wanted the dual to be able to use the green butane cans. I think it's what it's called. So this, this one only uses these right here, the butane fuel cartridge, and they're 312 a piece. Look at this one. 
you could just said you can attach it to a big propane bottle or one of these little green propane bottles I think this is what they sell what they're selling you attach it right there and in the re let me taste if you remember when um, the storm came it was probably a month or two ago when uh, Kyla our grandson was staying with us Leon was gone we had just unhooked the gas generator from our whole house and put it up because we usually keep it up hooked up during the winter um, so whenever the storm came, the tornado came, it knocked out the power for one evening, a whole night, and the next day. When I woke up the next morning, I, I didn't even have a way to make coffee. I mean, I could have lit the fireplace on the inside, but it's summertime. Nobody wants to heat up their house. I could have went outside and built a fire, of course, but I looked on my little app on the phone, and they said that they were working on the power, and it would be up soon. So I wasn't worried. I just did not have a cup of coffee. This is what it looks like on the inside. You just hook it to your bottle. And it's a burner. And here you go. It's a burner. It'll be also good to heat up soup real quick for the summertime when I'm by myself and Leon's gone and the electricity goes out just for you know like a night or a day or something like that if the electricity goes out any longer than that of course i will turn on the gas uh, power generator because now leon has it hooked up all the time now but i'm not going to go and use my, our gas for the generator when it's only going to be out for you know if a little while you just hook it to a propane tank which we have plenty of these at home so it's $24.94 for the little propane stove so glad I see these I didn't even know they sold them at Walmart but this is the lantern wicks and the lantern wicks hold on they're $2.47 so I'm gonna get three packs of them all right I was leaving the section uh, this is the toilet seat so the, this Clorox toilet seat is $26.97, so the only expensive one I see is this one for $35.97, so maybe I was wrong about the one being $80 <laughs> the other day. I don't know. This, this is more like it for a toilet seat, $12 or something, but anyway, moving right along. Okay. So, I'm glad I got that. And then also, um, I don't need any seasonings, but these are the ones I use often, and they were only a dollar. So, I got some more garlic powder and two minced onions. So, I need to go to the co-op. I was checking out the dog food. And, um... I need to go to the co-op, so I'm not going to be in here much longer. I do see some gaps in the dog treats. The hand sanitizer, $3.97 for 8 flow ounces. I think it might be going up. Hmm. I'm going to go in the garden center real quick before I leave just to see what they have. Okay, this is not bad. You get two cans of the Waltz and Hornet Killer for $6.28. I don't find that that's bad. Oh boy, I found myself in this section. But what's catching my eye are these pillows right here for $5.52 is not bad. Um, I need a couple of these for our iron chairs by the horse stable because they're hard to sit in. So I'm going to get a couple of those. That's not bad for an outside pillow. Um, this is the fertilizer for your plants. This is what I want to get. The fish fertilizer. But it's 2052. I heard it was good. I wonder, and this one's 1077. I wonder if it's concentrated. I'm not sure. 
Yes, it is concentrated. You mix two tablespoons with a gallon for a gallon of water. And um, I think I'm going to get some of this. So this is the fertilizers and stuff. Y'all, I'm just looking. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to show you one more thing. This is the pool, the pool aisle, if you have a swimming pool. And over here, where you get your chlorine tablets, there's a lot of product missing. Um, there still are some chlorine tablets. Um, the I don't see any more great value chlorine tablets. But, um, yeah. All right, the dogs have been guarding me when I pick the blackberries. So I'm going to go on and pick them up some more treats because I usually give them one every time they go out there. And I have been going out there a lot. All right, so I'm about to leave. <laughs> Hold on. All right, before I leave, let me look at um, these products. I never really spend a lot of time in these products. I use just the um, Aveeno product. Not Aveeno, y'all. It's the Pons. This is usually the product that I use. The Pons. But um, I need some more oil. Hold on. Look at this. I've never seen one of these. It's an exfoliating washcloth. For $1.97. Huh. Yeah, I need to get this. So let me get one of these. Okay, so this is the oil that I'm looking for. This is coconut. I have a little bit at home, but I'm running out of certain ones. This is golden glow. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the golden glow. The golden, golden glow is 587. And it is 18 flow ounces. That's not bad, I don't think. Let me get this. Okay, I'm about to check out. I got some more um, Teal's Epsom salt. It's good for your aches and your pains. I always soak in it. Let's see what else I got. The fish oil. Oh, and, and then I think I showed you this. I was on the phone with Leon. The hemp. I got two bottles of the hemp. I always try to get two of everything. Okay, not many chips. Okay, hmm. kind of slim pickings in the uh, browser. Uh oh, let <laughs> me check out. One ninety-seven for a little thing of Purell. Y'all better get your uh, hand sanitizer. It ain't a dollar no more. I don't think. There's the chips. <laughs> That's the little chips, y'all. Um, I don't know why they're not right here, but anyway. No, not going camping. That's for emergencies. In case of blackouts come in our area. Okay, you guys. I am leaving Walmart and headed to, I think, the co-op. All right. I am at the co-op. You all know I love the co-op. <laughs> so, let's see if they have a, oh, yeah, something else I wanted to tell y'all I was going to get. So, y'all remember these? I think that's a groundhog. So yeah, collar's coming next week for a week. So I'm gonna get some of these because I think he will like them. Yeah. You see, they're almost out of honey. So <laughs> here's the 10 ounce Yeti coffee cup for $24.99. Um, I'm gonna get one of those. Next time I'll get one of those. Okay, they do not have any chickens here, but the tractor supply place said that they're getting some on Thursday. Leon will be home, so I'm gonna wait. We're gonna wait and get some new chicks then. So right now I'm looking for Louie, a new feeding bowl, because his feeding bowl he's using is too big and he keeps slinging some of his food out. So 
he needs one like stylo and river so let me see okay so stylo and river have oh okay oh, okay all right um so stylo and river uh, have one of these they're 1998 and there's only one left so i'm gonna get louis one because so, it's deeper than the one he's using and he when he slings his head his food won't fall out this is the horse section i cannot wait to purchase me a saddle <laughs> So excited they don't have they used to have saddles here but they don't have them anymore but look at all this stuff oh that's dogs that's for dogs wow the, all the saddles used to be over here there's plenty of dog food plenty of dog food but uh yeah they don't have saddles anymore so this is the horse stuff right here hmm okay it's the saddles you guys See, that's what happens whenever I look in, in the camera. I don't see anything. Look how pretty. Oh, it has a cross on it. That is so pretty. I love it. Um, let's see if I can find a price. Oh, here's the price. I don't see the price. Huh. It's pretty though. This is pretty too. It's got a cloth. Oh, and it's got, I guess you, you would have to buy this separate, the saddlebag. We don't need that right now. When we go trail riding, we will. This is more of a blue turquoise right there. That's so pretty. And then you have this one. And then of course that one. And um, oh, this one has a price. This one's $5.89 it's on sale and then that one for a man those are for a man and there's one so I'm also going to get one of these to put on Louis before his saddle because I do not want it rubbing on him how cute this is for a child that uh, rides in a rodeo I guess that is so cute. Y'all, I bought Louie a brush and I don't too much like it. This one, you hold it like this. My hands are so small and of course y'all know I got issues. I think this would be easier for me to use. It is 549. I'm going to get this for Louie. Right. You you um... So you have your brush that gets the dirt off, you have your brush that gets the hair off, okay, and then this is for their mane and tail. So there's different kinds that you're supposed to get. Okay, so I need another fan for Louis's side of, his, of the stall. We bought one for Stylo's side, but we need another one. So they are $69, and that's what Leon paid for the other one at Lowe's. These used to be cheaper than that, but they have gone up because we've bought several of them in the past. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to look at a bug zapper to keep down the flies. And they are so bad in the stall. Of course, we have three horses, so, but I wanna get a bug zapper. So let's go see if they have one and how much they are. Okay, a little low on their ball jars. Look at this third house. I love this. My mom has two of these. This one is $159.99. But I love it. It's so pretty. I do not see a bug zapper. And I had y'all paused for a long time and I still don't see one. Um, so let me look. Okay. I'm in the uh, car. I'm trying to see... I'll show you what else I bought at the co-op when I get home. I kind of got up into my shopping. Right now I have to ride around there because I had to buy a, a bale of, not a bale, yeah, a bale of feeding hay, which is just a treat hay. They have a huge bale in the yard. We need to get them another one because that one, I don't know, they don't eat on it. So Leon's going to get a, um, another one from someone else. You know, I guess it's 
certain hays that they like. I'm not sure, but anyway. If they, a big, huge bale of hay is like $35 is what we do. We usually pay from when we get it from our friends. We have two different people that we get it from. And then the feeding hay is $6.95 and it's just a little, you know, I'll show you. Okay, so now I have to ride around back so they can load it up and I am putting it in my car. I did this one time before and one fits in my car. What you do is you drive around here and these um, guys out here will put your stuff in your car or your truck. Yes, sir. They are so sweet here. I mean, these people out here, like the country people are so sweet, so respectful. The young people are so sweet. They're yes ma'am, no ma'am. It's just very polite. I love coming to the co-op. So right now I am gonna head home. And when I get home, I will show you the rest of the stuff that I got at the co-op. And so I'll see you then. Guys, my ring is in the mail. So I will open this up and show y'all what my ring looks like. we got from the gun and knife show this thing is sharp anyway <laughs> the horses are look at them they know I got him some treat hay y'all want some treat hay all right so what I do is I just usually give them well at, at the tractor supply it's <laughs> at the tractor supply it stays in the square So yeah, it comes apart a whole lot more at the co-op. So let me give Louie some. Here, Louie. Come on, Louie. They have plenty of grass out there, but they love to eat this as a treat. So that's Riverside, and I put some on Louie's side. All right, so there's the blue... <laughs> Um, thing that Louie's eating out of and this is the green things that I, the green thing I bought so let me get that out the car see the mess I gotta clean up okay it's worth it so here's the fan there's one fan and this fan is gonna go on Louie's side and Leon's gonna put it up when he gets home so one pillow goes there and I have to tie it Usually these chairs are together, but this one goes on that chair. So I will come out here later and tie them. Leon and I sit out here all the time, and those chairs can be uncomfortable. So here is the other green bucket. And I'm going to set it there for now. When Leon gets home, he'll mount it on the thing. So let's go inside. Maya's blocks. I got them soaking. I took them out of that pot. I got them soaking in, um, what do you call it? Food coloring. So you soak them in food coloring for a couple of days, and then you take them out and dry them. That's what I did yesterday. You dry them for a couple of days, and then you can put them on block, on string for her to play with. Let's go check on Maya real quick. She doesn't like me to wear a hat, but I can't take it off because I'm not finished with my video. See her? See how she's raising all her feathers and her hair feathers? Yeah, she does not like my hat. That is a sign of, I'm about to attack you. Hi, baby. Are you doing okay? So let me check her temperature. It is 78. 
let me turn her fan on so it can pull some of that cool air in here from her air conditioner sometimes when we go when i go out the gate this little breaker will flick so when i do that her fan comes back on so it will pull pull extra i like to keep maya's room you know at least by set at 76. Okay. i'm in my room in my chair i had a little break and got me some diet coke because you know going out like that i get tired very quickly of course i get up early i have chores to do but anyway okay sorry i wanted to show you these in case you didn't see that other video um it doesn't have a okay so they are eggamals <laughs> they're eggamals so you have a penguin here and then if you pop it over you have a a tiger or a lion and it covers the other side they are super cute they, and they're real soft and then this one is a monkey <laughs> then when you pop it over you have a a hippopotamus and it is a ball very cute and i think kyler will like them so I'm, i always um buy him little things put them in put them in his room and then when he comes, which he's coming next week, Leon's picking him up. No, he's coming this week. I'm sorry. Kyler is coming this week. Leon's picking him up on his way home Thursday. And he's going to ride back with Leon. And we're going to keep him for a week. Um, they said we can keep him for um, longer than a week if we want to. And then we will bring him back home. So I'll put these in his room. And he, he always goes in there and sees what I buy and put in there. Okay, so... Um, the things that I did not show you, and I am going to show you my ring. So I bought me a 10-ounce Yeti coffee cup. And it has this right here. So let me show you the other Yeti coffee cup that I have. This is my large Yeti coffee cup. It doesn't have a black thing where you can uh, close the lid. So I usually put it right here for large cups of coffee. And this Curio where I do my instant cup coffees sometimes. Um, this is a smaller one, and I usually make stronger coffee because I put it on the lower setting. So I will use this for my smaller coffee. So it will sit there. Okay. I got me a pair of these. They are um, a soft, very soft material and it's um, these let me show you <laughs> they're bell bottoms at the bottom they're very soft like a tights material real soft and they're this color and I got them just to kind of lounge around the house I may go out you know run to a quick thing to Walmart um, I know the bell bottoms are coming back in and this is just a com comfortable pair of, it has an elastic waistband. And I just got them to lounge around the house. Okay. They were $23.98. And the brand is, I'll let you look at it because I don't have my glasses on. That's the brand. And the co-op usually has very good quality clothes. So I got a shirt to go over with it to kind of uh, kind of a long long shirt this is what it looks like it says free bird don't know what that means but <laughs> i think it's maybe something to do with it i don't know what it means um the shirt was 24.95 so i thought that would go really well with um <laughs> these pants Okay, and you know, you know I cannot pa bypass the cane cans. <laughs> so this is a pair of de-stressed. They are called. Um, I got a size three. They are the. Um, what do you call them? Hold on. Okay, they are the boyfriend and they are high-rise because they'll fall down to your waist 
So this is a size three, and, and the size three is a little baggy because it is a boyfriend jean. I don't know if you know the different styles of jeans, and I'm very picky when it comes to the style of jeans. This is a can can. Um, but these are kind of more of a relaxed jean. You might wear a tighter shirt with them since they're going to be so baggy at the bottom. I will wash them. They'll shrink just a little bit. But this is the only pair that they had. They had two pair. One was a size 11, and then they had a size 3. And so it has these little um, paint splatters on it. Just a comfortable pair of jeans. Very comfortable. Can Can makes the best jeans. And these were $35.90. $35 so they do have a Can Can website that you can go on. But there are, they are more expensive on the website. I ordered a pair of Can Can Capris. And they were a boyfriend uh, style jean. And I paid a lot. I think it was $70 with shipping and everything. The only pair I ordered because the co-op did not have them. Down where we live, there's not many stores to go to for certain types of good jeans for women. Okay? I haven't found any. <laughs> All right? Uh, it's not like living in the city where you can go down to your local Tango Outlet Mall and just buy, you know, nice pants. And I, I wear some types of Walmart pants, but I don't like the Levi Walmart pants. And that's basically all they sell here. They do not look right on me. I do not feel comfortable. I'm not going to wear a pair of jeans just because they're cheap if they don't fit me right and, and they don't look good on me and I don't feel comfortable. So, as most of you know, um, we were in the Pentecostal religion. Most of you know that um, my closet was mostly made up of skirts. I do still have a lot of skirts. But I just recently started wearing pants again after not wearing them for um, probably about two or three years. I just started wearing wearing them again, so I'm just buying them so I'll have them because I didn't have any, a, you know, a couple months, about three or four months ago, I didn't have any. So I'm just adding this to my collection of pants. Let me show you my closet real quick. Okay, this is Leon's section right here, okay? And his pants are down there. And then all of his... Outside wear that he wears around in the yard is right there. And there is all his hats. <laughs> okay. This is my section. So I have this section. And then if you swoop around, I have this section. Alright, this is mainly all of my dresses for church. And all of my, um, dress, you know, my dressy dresses. My winter stuff is over here. There's my North Face jacket Leon bought me a couple years ago for Christmas. And this is my winter stuff. Okay, so my skirts. This is my long skirts, and this is all of my short skirts. Okay, I used to have nothing but skirts. And I got rid of a lot of them, gave them away, and I kept a lot for church. Because I only wear skirts or dresses to church. I don't wear pants. But this is my pants. That I started collecting. That's a blue jean skirt. So this is my pants. So this is all I have. This is a, a jumpsuit that I bought. And then these are pants. And then these are uh, the shirts y'all see me wear. So that's my, my pants right there. And let me count them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is kind of a beach type pair of pants that's not really pants 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and some are just for winter and you can't wear some of them because they're too thick and hot 18 and then i just bought a pair that's 19 and then the pair i wore is 20. so yeah i have 20 pair of pants unless a few are dirty i'm not sure so um, that's what I got. That's all that I got that I didn't show you. So now let's open up this ring. Alright. This is the ring I ordered. And I'm going to tell you where I ordered it from. 
let me open it up real quick. Okay, I ordered it from a place called Dream Jewelry. And I'm not going to put it in the description or anything because I don't have any links. I don't sell for anybody. But these people right here, let me open up the ring before. They just have great reviews, beautiful rings for a great price. And they sent me this little book. It shows all of the different style stuff that they have. So that is this, I guess this is just like a catalog. And it shows, oh, uh, they have beautiful stuff, you guys. If you, you know, for your birthday or something, or you want to get somebody a gift. And I ordered this, and it came right on time. The shipping was exact. I got free shipping because I didn't want it soon. Just wanted it whenever it came in. And it took, let's see when I ordered it. Well, it took about four or five days to come in, okay? It was a three to five day shipping. So I got the sterling silver horse ring in a size seven because I'm hoping it will fit on this finger. Leon thinks seems to think I got it too big, but we're going to find out. So it comes in this beautiful blue box. And here is the ring right here. So... Oh, it is pretty. It's pretty. It's sterling silver. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It was... Um, I forgot to tell you how much it was. They don't say. I think it was $35, I believe. I believe it was $35. Hold on. So, I'd have to go back in my email to see. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It has three horses... So I turned the camera around. So it has a horse there. And so the little horse is uh, Louie. And then it has a middle horse. And they're kind of intertwined. It is a pretty ring. So pretty. Okay, so now let me put it on and see if it fits the finger. Uh-oh. I should have got an eight. It does not fit my middle finger because I have huge knuckles. It doesn't even fit that finger. Oh, mercy. Oops. Well. Okay. It fits this finger. That's fine. I usually wear my bracelets on this hand and then my wedding ring. So... I do not think it will clash in with my wedding ring. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. So, <laughs> I'll have to get a, a, a... Next time I order a ring, it'll be a 8 for this, side, this hand. Because this hand's smaller. See, this knuckle is bigger than this knuckle. That is weird. Anyway, it fits this finger, which is fine. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And I love you so much. Thank you for going shopping with me today. And I hope some of the products that I bought, uh, mostly the emergency product, like the gas uh, stove, you would consider getting something like that if you already don't have it. You may have you know, a jackery and things like that. We don't have a jackery. We just have a gas generator. And like I said, if the electricity is out for more than one day, because our deep freeze can, can last for, you know, 24 hours or a couple of days, Leon said. But if it looks like it's going to be out longer than a day, then we will crank up the gas generator. That is hooked to our whole house. It will run our whole house except for our central air and central heat. And we will do that. But if I'm by myself and it goes out and it's only out for a couple of hours or a day, I will use that little propane bottle gas burner. I will get Leon when he comes home to hook it up and show you how it works. I'll boil water or, or cook something on it and we're going to see together how it works. I love you guys and until next time, I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.